So here's a problem that could probably be done just as easily without U substitution that will use U substitution um, to present an example of doing one with a definite integral. So let's see what we can do. Always a good choice for U is the most deeply composed function. So in this case, this would be an obvious choice for U. So if we let U equal 3x plus 16, that gives us du equals 3dx. But now notice we have just a single dx, so that means we can solve and we'll get one-third du equals dx. So we can say that this is one-third du. So that allows us to rewrite this integral as the integral of the square root of u, which we'll just go ahead and rewrite as u to the one-half du, we'll bring this one-third outside that came from the, um, that was attached to the du, and now we have to think about what we do with the bounds of integration. So over here, we can see that these are x number bounds for the integral in terms of x. <clears throat> but what we can do is we can change those to u number bounds and never go back to the original variable. So let's see what we get. So if x equals 0, then that means u equals 3 times 0 plus 16. So that's good. That gives us u equals 16. And then finally, if x equals 3, that means u equals 3 times 3 plus 16, which is 25. So we get u equals 25. Okay, great. So now we can continue on. So we get one third taking the antiderivative, so we increase the exponent by one and multiply by the reciprocal of the new exponent. That'll give us u to the three halves times two thirds. Now we can evaluate that from u equals 16 to 25. Okay, so let's see what we get there. So that gives us two over nine, and then we have 25 to the 3 halves minus 16 to the 3 halves. <clears throat> so there's a quick way to do that. We can take the square root first and then cube second. So that gives us 2 over 9. The square root of 5 is, so the square root of 25 is 5. Cubed is 125. And then finally, the square root of 16 is 4, 4 cubed is 64, so we have this for our final answer.